In this LibreTab tutorial intended for program managers, I will introduce both the concepts of podcasts and auto-loading playlists to automatically schedule tracks and shows an hour before they are set to broadcast. So I'll log in as a project manager. First, I want to introduce the concept of podcasts and how they can be integrated with LibreTime. Podcasts allow you to have your LibreTime instance automatically download the latest show content from a show with a podcast feed, also known as an RSS feed. If you click on podcasts, you can see a number that already exists. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will, you, we will add the Democracy Now! podcast. So you need to get the URL from the site and copy it into our clipboard. So we are going to go to democracynow.org and they actually have a section called podcasts if you hunt around for it. RSS and podcasts. And here we go, the audio podcast. So all podcasts have an RSS feed but some shows don't advertise it as openly as their iTunes link. But you should be able to contact the publishers of any show you have permission to air and get their RSS feed if they have one. So we're going to copy this and we're going to now go to our LibreTime instance. So click on podcasts and then click the blue add button and then paste the URL we copied click subscribe. So we're now going to generate, we're actually going to go in here and we can generate a smart block and playlist. But for the purposes of this tutorial we already have added this and downloaded a number of them so we'll just use this other one that already exists. We'll still go in here. Now click on the show, edit, double click it as well. You can do that and it's open. Now the right window should be open for the podcast. If you want you can change the name of the podcast and you can do it right here. We could just call it Democracy Now! Daily Show. And now we're going to click Generate Smart Block and Playlist. This will create a playlist containing a smart block that will always contain the newest episode of this show. You also want to make sure that you download the latest episode right now. New episodes will be downloaded automatically, period, but this happens if this is checked right here, download latest episode, but this happens periodically and so if you have just recently added a podcast you'll probably need to check it and click import. We're going to actually we'll import a older one since we already have a number of these imported. And then you click import and you should see this start happening and then that means that the import is happening in the background so we can navigate away. Podcasts are hosted externally so sometimes it can take a few minutes or more for the download to happen and for a track to be ingested. So we go to tracks we won't see it yet. So now we're going to add this show to an auto loading playlist so that it can automatically play every day with the latest episode. So we can click on calendar. We'll have Democracy Now! every day uh, weekday at 11. So we're going to click on new show then We'll type in democracy now. We'll click in the future. And as of this calendar, it is already past 11 for today. So we'll go in here and we'll pick 11 on Tuesday. And we only want it to air to noon. And now we want it to repeat every day of the weekday of the week. So we click here, click here, click here, click here. Now every day of the week except for Sunday and Saturday is checked. 
So now we're going to add this show to an auto loading playlist. So this is the magic part. You know, you click the drop down next to auto loading playlist. Then you check the box to next to add auto loading playlist. And now we'll select the playlist we want to schedule automatically from the list. So we'll go in here and we'll find the one we just created called Democracy Now! Daily Show. And so we're going to leave this unchecked because it'll end up with the show starting again if it's only partially complete and you don't want your listeners to hear only part of a show. Now we're going to click add this show. And so there's some overlapping shows so we have to go look on the calendar and see. Right now we have this show that was created when I was demoing this so we're going to create delete that show and all following. Now we click add this show. You want to be careful when you're doing that because it could have packed your schedule. But now we have every day starting tomorrow, Democracy Now! So one hour before your show is set to air, the latest podcast will be added. Now let's go and peek behind the scenes and see how the smart block works to make this happen. Click on smart blocks. And then we'll go in here and we'll click, we see one called Democracy Now! Daily Show. Now we're going to click here and click Edit. Now you see the search criteria matches on the album. This is because the album's automatically changed to the podcast name for each track downloaded from the podcast. And it's limited to one item. You can click Preview and it should show the latest episode we had just set to download and there you see today's democracy actually Wednesday's democracy now because that was the one that we had downloaded automatically and since we had changed the podcast name only the new tracks were set to have this so let's just say we could just for an example since we had downloaded them all previously with this, there's now 38 tracks, and it's going to show Mondays. That just shows that if you ever happen to have a podcast that you have already added and you change the name and generate a new smart block, any new tracks added will be changed to what you set the podcast URL and podcast name to. Okay. Since this one has most of the tracks, we'll leave it like this. So under sort tracks, we'll look at the advanced options. and the sort tracks, it's set to newest. By default, smart blocks are set to random, but for the purposes of this podcast, we usually want to air the latest one. If new episodes aren't being generated, but you still want to air the show on a regular basis, or you've already downloaded a number of tracks, you can change this to random, and it will select different shows. Quick preview, it shows a few random different tracks. In doing so, you may have noticed that one of the shows was substantially shorter than the rest. It might be the case that your podcast contains extra content that shouldn't be treated as a full show. This could cause issues with your listeners, and so in this case, we'll add a new criteria to Smart Block so it only pulls tracks longer than 55 minutes since full episodes are always this long while the shorts added to the podcast and the web exclusives are not so we're going to click new criteria we're going to select length and then we're going to choose the greater than modifier and time length are typed in as hour colon minutes colon seconds. So we'll type in zero zero colon fifty five colon zero zero. And we'll click preview. And you can see it matches substantially shorter number. 
You probably won't need to do this for most podcasts, but tricks like this can help you maintain your station schedule without needing manual intervention. As you probably already saw, there are a lot of different criteria you can match on, so the possibilities are pretty boundless. We'll explore this in more depth in future tutorials, but for the purpose of this one, we can make sure that we change short tracks back to newest and save it. We are now going to playlist and see how it works with smart blocks. So right now we have click on playlist and then click on democracy now daily show and we're going to click edit and you should see it's right there you can click on expand dynamic block to see what the search criteria is now let's say your station had a specific introduction you always wanted to air for this show you could add this to the playlist and it would also be scheduled along with the latest episode this is a good way to automate the scheduling of PSAs and you can also play station IDs. In the next tutorial we will introduce the concept of intro and outro playlists. I recently added a feature that allows you to automatically schedule tracks before and after auto-loading playlists on a station-wide basis. For right now though, if you want to add any specific tracks before or after a podcast, editing this specific playlist is the place to do it. And so we will actually go in here and we'll just for fun add this joke behind and so drag it down and so now every time <laughs> play democracy now we'll also have this spoof ad of the communist amazon echo that I pulled from youtube okay now save it And we're going to see what happened. It looks like some of the JavaScript might have froze up. Usually you can just reload. Not sure exactly what's happening. Sometimes you'll run into stuff like this with every time. Well, I'll just try a new sub window. Okay. If you ever run anything, you can usually just reload it. We're going to go to the calendar. And you should see the show that we set up with a little clock icon instead of the red exclamation mark. Currently, the playlists are set to have their schedules built an hour before the show. We might add an option to customize this in future versions of Libre Time. There are also additional settings that you might be interested in knowing about under settings. You will need to be a station admin to access this and so you won't see it if you're logged in as a program manager. manager. So we went here and we tried we're only going to see my profile. In the future we might be moving these into their own section and giving access to program managers but for now we're going to log in as an admin and I'll show you the additional settings related to this what we just used. So I'll go to general and you can see overwrite podcast episode meta tags. That will basically mean that the album track and the artist track gets changed to match whatever name you put in for the podcast. and generate a smart block and playlist upon creation of a new podcast is disabled by default but you can enable it and then automatically it will create that and you won't need to click the button but they will have the default podcast name whatever the podcast creator had put in this might be useful if you plan on adding a lot of playlists at once but it's up to an admin to turn it on as you can see, intro and auto-loading playlist and outro auto-loading playlist, these sections will be the focus of our next tutorial. So in this tutorial, we showed you how to use Internet Podcast to automatically download new content from the web and air the newest episode automatically in labor time. If you have any questions you can or comments, you can go to discourse.libretime.org or you can 
add them below wherever you watch this. Alright, thanks for watching and tune in for the next tutorial soon.